2022 is here and it's a great time to get serious about video making when, if not now, whether you're going to make commercial video, educational video content, vlogging news, travel videos, or just want to learn how to film as a new hobby, it all starts with a camera. But what camera is worth buying now in 2022? Exclusively for Movavi Vlog viewers, I've chosen three affordable cameras that will work for most video-related challenges. In my humble opinion, these options are the best value for money, quality, functionality and reliability you can find now in early 2022. Hi there, my name is Roman. this is Movavi Vlog, your go-to channel for making cool videos and growing your YouTube channel. Here on Movavi Vlog, we're regularly debunking the myths that video making is complicated and expensive and that you need professional software, a monster computer, several years of video making and editing training, and of course, the most expensive camera in order to make cool videos, like this one. Surely, to create great videos, the ones you, your friends, and even your clients, if you decide to make money with video making, it's unlikely that the first camera you pick will do. You have to choose wisely, especially if it's your first camera. However, you don't have to think only about expensive options, especially if you're just starting out as a filmmaker. So in this video, I've prepared for you the top three best budget cameras that are relevant now in 2022 and each of which you can buy for less than $700. All right, the first camera we're looking at today is the good old Sony A6000. I know, this is an almost eight year old camera by now and there are newer models in the series like the Sony A6400, but the good old A6000 is still relevant in 2022, especially if you're looking for a budget option. Personally, I don't think it makes much sense to overpay for its younger brother, A6400. Sony A6000 has a 24 megapixel CMOS APS-C size sensor. Naturally, it's not a full frame because we're talking about budgeted compact cameras today. But guess what? It still does pretty pretty well at high ISOs. This thing is quite decent, up to ISO 12800 when it comes to video, but looks best at 3400 or 6400 ISO at low light conditions. Video specs aren't impressive, but still good. It gives you 1080p videos up to 60 frames per second at a very high megabit rate, 50 megabits per second. Sorry, no 4K this time, and also A6000 does not have any picture profiles. No S-Log, no Cinema 1, Cinema 2, only neutral profile, but due to the high megabit rate, you can still color grade your videos pretty well if you know how to do it properly. A6000 has the very, very good autofocus system that Sony cameras are known for. Not the newest AFs you can get from the latest Sony cameras, but after 8 years, it's still impressive. And yet, this camera does not have a built-in stabilization like modern Sony cameras do. Another huge drawback for video creators is the audio. No external mic input. And the built-in mic is a disaster in case of Sony A6000. So consider buying a recorder and be ready to sync it with the video at the editing stage. Yet, even the drawbacks should not immediately stop you from choosing this camera for making videos. As I said, the picture is great and you can use a monopod, invest in a gimbal, professional lenses with built-in stabilization, and an external audio recorder instead of putting all your money on a more expensive camera. And the good news? In 2022, you can find a Sony A6000 for less than $700. But don't forget that a good camera is not the only thing that makes a good video. Editing is essential if you don't want your audience to quit your videos at the very beginning. And I think the background music is definitely something that can help you make your content even more engaging. The only question is how to find tracks that will perfectly fit your style. This is where SoundDraw, the sponsor of today's episode, may come in handy. SoundDraw is a composition tool for creators. The service gives you the opportunity to make royalty-free music for your videos by selecting themes and genres, customizing the structure, duration, and instruments of any track you can find on the site. Let me show you how it works. So this is where the magic happens. All we need to do right now is to set the mood first, then select the genre or style, then length, I guess 3 minutes will do. Then we can specify the tempo and instruments, but I'll just skip it. 
hit the create music button and get right to the list of tracks. So now I have to choose the ones I like most. This music is nice, I can download it right away, generate more similar tracks by clicking on this icon or simply add the track to keep if I need to save it for later. Let's try editing it. I can adjust the length, set BPM, select the instruments, the key and adjust the volume. I like the result, so let's download it. Right now you can hear the music I made. I think it sounds pretty good. If you feel like testing this music generator yourself, SoundDraw has a free plan to offer. With the free plan, you'll be able to check out the interface, the features, and try making your own music tracks. For those who already want to get the unlimited access to SoundDraw, there are the multi plan and the annual plan available. So scroll down to the description and hit the link to learn more about SoundDraw. Meanwhile, we'll go back to the budget cameras. The second great option for 2022 is the Canon M50 mirrorless camera. The first thing I really like about this camera is its small size. Especially if you have used a Canon DSLR before, you will be surprised when you see the M50. Inside the camera, there's a 24 megapixel APS-C sensor. At 1080p, you can shoot 60 frames per second, and the picture quality is really nice. And at 720p, you can get even 120 FPS and then do four times the slow motion on the edit. And it's got 4K. But since the sensor of the M50 is cropped, yes, it's not a full-frame camera, you might not get exactly the 4K you would think of first. The Canon M50 also has got a fully articulated flip-out screen. This is super cool, especially if you're going to be filming yourself. It's so useful. It means you don't have to look for an assistant. You always can check the frame, make sure the camera is recording, you're in focus and in frame, and it saves tons of time. Also, the dual pixel autofocus of Canon M50 is fantastic. You can safely rely on it when recording at home, and when you're moving with a camera, you don't have to worry much about keeping objects in focus wherever you point it. Other than that, it has an external mic input, which is quite nice. You don't have to bother buying an audio recorder and sync the audio to the video on the edit. With Canon M50, you can easily record great audio with an external mic. At the moment, you can get a brand new Canon M50 for just a little more than $700, or find cheaper options if you look for a used camera. Great deal, but don't hurry to order one before you compare it to the other horse in the race. And before I get to the third camera, there will be a short pause, an important announcement from the Movavi Vlog team. Creating quality videos isn't always about expensive cameras, software and effects. Movavi Video Editor Plus 2022, the Let's Start a Vlog effect set, handy set and the colorful gradient pack were designed to help you create engaging videos that get even more views and are as good as popular creators' content. Movavi Video Editor Plus is designed to save you time. Its interface is easy to master. All the tools and presets are there to help you get many operations done in a few clicks. The app doesn't require the latest top-of-the-line computer to run smoothly, and its subscription format can give you access to all the features and updates that will be released in the following 12 months at a lower price. The Less Start of Lock Effects Set and Handy Set include everything you might need to bring a consistent style to your videos. The Colorful Gradient Pack is a new bulk effects collection that will be perfect for your videos of any topic. Once installed, the effects will be built into the program, so you can apply them to your clips in no time. Follow the link below to check out a 40% discount on this bundle. Also, I recommend you hit our official webpage to take a look at other special deals at 20, 30 or even 45% off. Our offer is time limited, so don't miss your chance to pick some great deals for your family, your friends and yourself, of course. Okay now, it's time for camera number 3. This little guy is also not a freshman, but in 2022 it still rocks. Panasonic Lumix GX85. This thing is capable of shooting 4K at 30 FPS and Full HD at 60 frames per second. It has great in-body stabilization, it's super light and small, it's great for beginner photography and as a second video camera and even the first video camera. This Panasonic uses a 16 megapixels micro four-thirds sensor and is able to shoot smooth 24 FPS 4K videos without a huge image crop, which makes this camera the most advanced and usable in my list in 
in terms of 4K. The GX85 has amazing in-body stabilization. The compact size of the Panasonic makes it a good travel camera. But what drives me slightly crazy is that the GX85, like the Sony A6000, misses an external mic input. This again means buying an external recorder and synchronizing footage with audio. And there is no flip out screen. I also cannot praise the autofocus compared to the Sony A6000 and the Canon M50. It's simply too slow to track subjects. Ok, you've probably counted more than one drawback of this camera by now, comparing to its two rivals, but let me tell you about two things that make me irrationally fall in love with the GX85. The first one is the design. The Panasonic is so stylish, especially with this leather half-camera case. It's pure joy to carry this tiny camera around and make some cool shots and film. You're gonna love it. The second one is the price. You can easily get the Panasonic GX85 for less than 700 bucks. I'm sure you'll now have enough good options to choose from. All three cameras we reviewed today are great video cameras that are still relevant today in 2022 and definitely won't make you overpay for new models just because they're new. By the way, don't miss this video where I talk about the best free video editing software you can find in early 2022. My name is Roman, this is Mobile Vlog, I will see you very soon.